I'm very excited to be here as part of the Future Work series, driving reflections around what could it mean to work in the future. And we're starting out with a panel of distinguished keynote speakers, which will highlight different perspectives. We talk about automation, job augmentation by AI tools. We also talk about visual culture, content, how we produce content and how we collaborate as humans based on that content that we are producing. We are honored to welcome uh, Guy Parmelin to our space, the Swiss Minister of the Economy and Swiss Federal Councillor. He came to visit us to visit the various organizations uh, here at Pier 17, including Swiss Next, but also the Swiss Consulate, the Swiss Business Hub and Switzerland Tourism. We wanted to use this visit to really show him a bit what is Silicon Valley all about, what is special about it, and how we aim to contribute in building bridges between uh, San Francisco and uh, the innovation ecosystem that we have in Switzerland. Potential of work, specifically in the United States and how it plays out in space, who will be affected, what is the actual story of course, do we really need to be afraid of automation and so we try to get a picture that helps us derive scenarios for the future so that we know who should prepare, what may be second order implications. The most important question is about the relevance the relevance of maybe what you do or what I do, how relevant is what they do in 10 years from now for their company, for their customers, or for their own, out of their own perspective. Really wanted to delve into how machine learning and art um, leverage visual culture to impact the fields of work and education, uh, to kind of take a look at what are some things that we can do to push these fields forward. What does it look like in 21st century as the world is, just, is transitioning to an almost 100% uh, digital space? What does it look like to fight the bad, so the harmful content, the harmful interactions, while also respecting fundamental democratic rule of law principles. Academia, government and industry need to partner, uh, work together with the local constituencies, which in my own experience are much more open to dialogue, local governments, and uh, much more interested in resolving those issues because they are more likely to be around for longer, so they have more interest in trying to find the resources now before the problem involves and becomes too big.